to join with you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration of freedom in the history of our nation. Five score years ago, a great American and whose symbolic shadow we stand today signed the Emancipation Proclamation. This momentous decree came as a great beacon light of hope to millions of Negro slaves who had been seared in the flames of withering injustice. It came as a joyous daybreak to end the long night of their captivity. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. 100 years later, the life of the Negro is still sadly crippled by the manacles of segregation and the chains of discrimination. 100 years later, the Negro lives on a lonely island of poverty in the midst of a vast ocean of material prosperity. 100 years later, the Negro is still languished in corners of American society. And he finds himself an exile in his own land. And so, we've come here today to dramatize a shameful condition. Let us not wallow in the valley of despair, I say to you today, my friends. And so, even though we may face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day in the Red Hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day, even in the state of Mississippi, I stayed sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will one day be transformed into a oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that even in Alabama, with its vicious racist and its governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification, one day, right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will one day be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream that every rough place shall be made plain, and every crooked place shall be made straight, and every high place shall be made low, and that the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together.